20th Century Fox presents Owen Wilson, Gene Hackman. Stop! Behind the scenes Let's go. of Behind Enemy Lines. Granted complete cooperation from the U.S. Department of Defense, Behind Enemy Lines achieves a military authenticity rarely seen on film. Behind Enemy Lines is being made with full Department of Defense support, which means we have support from the Department of the Navy as well as from the Marine Corps. What you get when you have the Department of Defense signs on to the thing is an advisor who comes out and, and watches and says, no, that's wrong or this is right. We do want to show what the military does for the country and we show off what professional people they are and if we can help to make it a realistic portrait of what we do, then it's to our advantage to, uh, to assist in a production like this. I think in the climate that exists now, after September 11th. You know, they had no idea at the time when we were shooting the movie that they were going to be going out on this mission, but that's what they trained for. And these are the best people we could have there. These are the people that you would want defending your country. We had a very small crew that went out on the USS Constellation, and we did a lot of our action sequences there. It had to be almost a documentary style. It was only 11 people were allowed on board. Then we took 73 people of a large crew and all of our principal cast on board the USS Carl Vinson, which was our primary prototype. Of course, I was very grateful that they could let us do this. I mean, it's an incredible privilege to be able to get this facility, but it is hard. It was quite strenuous and, and very dangerous. The insurer is listed as the number one most hostile working environment. It's constantly noisy. 24-7, you have planes landing and taking off. Any beacon activity? Not yet, Admiral. This unprecedented access to a working aircraft carrier made it possible for the filmmakers to reproduce every detail of the ship's intricate nerve center on a soundstage. The Red Crown Room is the nerve center of a carrier group. The Red Crown is basically the, the call sign for the nerve center. All of the key decisions are made there. How soon can your team be ready? We're ready now, sir. You say the word and we'll saddle up. All I need is a ride. We've gone to great pains to capture the military stuff very realistically. It's pretty accurate. We've got reference stuff off an aircraft carrier in San Diego, and I've been talking to the US Navy in London. It's a brilliant set. I stood on it the first time, and I thought, I'm home. I'm back on a carrier. It's an excellent representation of what a combat direction center looks like and, and functions. We're coming to get you, son. exciting things for me about playing this part was kind of seeing all that kind of training that those guys do. I went to a more naval base and hung out with some of the pilots and went through some of the survival training. I want them in the airplane. I want them to be sitting in the seat and going through the motions per checklist, not faking it. So when the audience is there, they will feel it. They'll know it. You know, you can say, well, we can fake a display or we can fake this and no one will notice. Maybe they won't notice, but if it's right, they certainly will notice. And that's what we want to do is to get it right. When I signed on, they said, you're going to actually get to go up. We're at the uh, parachute loft of the Naval Weapons Test Squadron at Point Magoo. And this is where Owen will come to suit up with his flight gear. This is going to be quite an experience. He'll get fitted for a flight suit, boots, G-suit, torso harness, his survival vest, his oxygen mask, his gloves, his helmet, the whole shot. How fast will we go? We're going to take you on a supersonic like run today. smiling. Well, right before we're going to make, answer the question. We're going to make sure that you go supersonic so that you can say you've been faster than the speed of sound. Here I come. Yeah, I'm ready. While you're in the airplane, I'll be kind of, I'll tell you what to expect, what we're going to do next. Take we're going to take you vertical today. OK. So just straight up. Yeah. We're going to basically do an uh, air combat 
engagement for you. So we're going to take a cut away from each other, come at each other, and then uh, the fight will be on at the merge. It was unbelievable. We broke the speed of sound. We did. Did we get up to the six Gs? Oh, we were up there. <laughs> he was good at six. He was good at six. I Don't said that was about, about my limit. limit. <laughs> That's about my limit.